hey guys welcome back to the channel so today we have a video talking about smithy ironware i do have one of the uh i want to say possibly kickstarter if not one of the first skillets that smithy ironware produced along with also their number eight and i do have the newer versions of these models uh, and i'll show you guys the slight differences that there are with each pan uh, so with that let's get started and let's talk about the uh, number, let's do the number eights first. So let's do those first. So at first glance, these skillets, they don't look very different. There's very slight differences between these, but one of the first things that I noticed with the older model is that the casting is a little bit rougher than the newer models. These might have that grainy texture to it, but it, it is a lot smoother versus the older model. Um, also the casting of the quail here is a little bit better on the newer models, but where you can see the biggest differences is on the underside. So this one here is the um, older version and the lettering here is a little bit smaller than the newer. If you guys pay attention to the eight, you can see some differences there along with the lettering on Smithy. Um, and that's about it. You can't really see much of a difference, uh, from anything else except for the fonts and the lettering on the underside. There isn't much difference on the size, nor do I believe that there is a difference on weight. Um, and as I said earlier, the casting on the older models is a bit rougher. Uh, I don't know if the camera picks it up, but the handle itself, not the smoothest. The casting on the quail also not not the best. The other thing that I can tell is that there is a little bit of pitting. Not necessarily pitting, but uh, some casting issues here. A little bit of sharpness here, but they will last you a long time. And this one here uh, has been actually maintained pretty decently. So those are the differences between the Smithy number 8. Now with that, let's move on to the number 10. And this is my newer model. I've had this for about two years. And as you can tell, there is a big color difference here. This one has been seasoned many, many times. It's been used many, many times versus this one where I feel like wasn't used very often, perhaps maybe even a handful of times. It looks like the original seasoning is still intact. I don't think the previous owner used it very much, nor do I think that they seasoned it because the seasoning is actually very thin there's no rust on it so it has been maintained pretty well the differences on this one is the helper handle here the newer one is a tad bit bigger also the um, the inside the cooking surface i i don't know if you guys can see very well on this but uh, uh, let me uh, move you guys so i can get better angles but the sizing on this is pretty similar there are some differences though and I'll show you guys that in a minute. All right, guys. So we're going handheld for now. And one thing that I do notice right away on this one is the helper handle. This one here, as you can see, it is a lot more square. It's not as rounded as the newer model. So the newer model is a tad bigger as well. And it's rounded here versus the old <coughs> one that does not have that. The old one also is a lot thinner and shorter. The casting, as you can see, is a little bit thicker on the older one versus the newer model. Uh, the other thing that it's actually really hard to tell is the um, cooking surface and the side walls. There is a almost like a gap here. Um, and there is a drastic change from the cooking surface to the uh, side wall versus the newer model where it's a lot uh, smoother and more contoured. Uh, so I want to say that the CNC machining on this is a bit better than the older model. The older model is almost uh, like a 90 degree angle versus this one that has somewhat of a sloped sidewall here. So um, there is a better division between the cooking surface and the sidewall. The other thing that I did notice is here on the Smithy um, logo, the whole uh, 
rim here has been actually sanded down and the newer model does not have that as you can see this is still uh, the textured um, from the sand mold so not it hasn't been sanded and you can tell that there are some differences here and this you can see it here on the pour spout you can see that it has been sanded okay guys so i have the older model on top of the newer model and right away you can see some of the differences that i've been talking about the helper handle is a bit longer on the newer model versus the older one also this one here is a uh, curved versus the older that's um, a lot more angled and this is pretty much uh, lined up so these lines line up pretty well overall um, here's the other difference that I noticed the handle here so this one seems to be a tad shorter but if I do move it a bit it does move the whole um, rim a bit so if you were to hang these up this one would be shorter than the newer one there is more length on the newer one versus the, the uh, older one the other thing that i did want to mention was actually that the um, pour spouts are a bit either wider or bigger on the older model versus the newer model I don't know if you guys can see it very well. Let me line these up. These are a bit more flared than the newer ones. The newer pour spouts are not as flared as the older model. And you can tell some of the casting differences between the Kickstarter or the uh, one of the first skillets that they produced versus what they're producing now. Uh, there is more refinement with the newer model versus the older one. Uh, you can see a little bit of pitting here and there. Um, the lines aren't perfect. They're, I don't want to say that the rim hasn't been necessarily um, given some work. Uh, on this one, it looks like they, they do hit it with a grinder. And on this one, it doesn't seem like it has been hit with a grinder. Um, but obviously, this one has been rarely used, the older one. Uh, because you can tell the, the differences here. Mine is a lot more glossy, a lot darker versus the uh, older model. Uh, the other difference that you can tell is the um, shape design of the handle. And I'm talking about this here. I'll show you guys in a minute. One thing that you can see in the newer design is the design of the handle here. But you can see the differences here versus this one. This one's flat and it has this... Um, support piece here and the support piece on this one is a lot wider versus just a small thin strip of uh, iron so um those are some of the differences that i've noticed and uh, honestly guys when i first saw smithy ironware this was the first skillet that i saw and i fell in love with the design of the helper handle and when i received mine i went back and looked at the photos from the advertisement that I had seen on, on social media and I noticed it wasn't the same. And I just figured, well, I'm sure they've updated the, the uh, cookware and uh, they would post photos of the older version and they would be selling the newer one. And I got this one in 2020. I, um, this one I wanna say possibly came out in 2016. At least that's what I believe they're, um, I, I'm not sure if they did a Kickstarter or not, but. I do want to say they started around 2016. I loved their design from the beginning and uh, Smithy Ironware is one of my favorite pieces of cast iron cookware. The reason being is that I like how thick it is. I like how heavy it is. This weighs in at six pounds. I have weighed it six pounds even. This one here is a tad bit lighter. I'm talking about four to six ounces lighter. Not that big difference. Uh, between these two even though the sidewalls on this one and the pour spouts look to be thicker weight wise they remain to be the same so those are just some differences that i wanted to talk about and showcase and perhaps for those of you that were curious about smithy ironware so i want to say there's a little bit of history here as you can see the older version and the newer um, great skillets great company 
Um, I do know that these retail now for 170. They used to retail for 160. Uh, the number eight chef skillet used to retail for 100. Now it retails for 110. Uh, so every single item now has been bumped up $10, but $10 isn't that much. And the inflation is causing some of those prices to go up. And for me, I like supporting USA made cast iron cookware. So I've always backed uh, Smithy. As I said, they have been one of my favorites from the beginning. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video of the older skillet and the uh, newer ones and the slight differences that they have. Let me know what you guys think and let me know if you guys enjoyed watching this. And as always, I appreciate your time. Thank you guys for watching.